What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the World of Aviation and Science and today I'm going to be explaining about the runway marking and what it actually means. So it's not going to be fully detailed but I hope you enjoy it. So without any ado, let's get into the video. Starting from what a runway is, runway is a rectangular plot of land used for takeoff and landing of aircraft. It can be either man-made or natural. Firstly, we're going to talk about threshold of the runway. It marks the beginning and the end of space allotted for takeoff and landing. So you might have seen numbers written on runways. Well, what does it actually mean? It is basically used to align with the prevailing wind. If a plane is taking off from runway 22, it means it is in a heading or direction of 220 degree. Runway numbers are from 1 to 36. 270 degrees resembles west, 360 degree north, 180 degree south and 40 degree is east. As the name suggests, it is the place in runway where the plane lands first meaning touches its tires first. In simple words, the rubber shred of tire is usually the most in this area. The aiming point on runway are two rectangular strips that mark as visual aiming point for landing of aircrafts. It is where pilots aim to touch at. Now the center line. So, as the name suggests, it helps the aircraft to align with the runway during takeoffs, landing and taxi. Now I'll be explaining about the lights on the runway in a different video. Talking about the length of a runway, it should be at least of 1800 meter for an aircraft weighing up to 90,000 kg. That's all for today guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.